Good evening, family, friends, and administrators. My name is Maddie Robinson, and I am pleased to welcome you to Oxford Area High School's National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. Tonight, we'll be welcome, we will be welcoming 48 outstanding students into this prestigious Honor Society. On behalf of everyone in attendance, I would like to offer my sincere congratulations to all of our inductees. I now invite you to stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Thomas Sumner, and I am proud to serve as president of the Old Oak Chapter of the National Honor Society. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our annual induction ceremony. This year marks an exciting milestone for our society as we are inducting a record 48 new members. The students you see before you tonight represent the best and brightest of Oxford Area High School. Each and every one of our inductees has devoted countless hours of diligent work and effort to make it onto this stage. Meeting the difficult requirements for acceptance into our society attests to your remarkable achievements in the realms of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. It is my utmost pleasure to honor your accomplishments tonight with your induction into this prestigious society. It's funny to think that just two years ago, I was exactly in your place. I remember when my name was called to sign the membership book, I rushed over and tried to scribble my name without shaking too much. My handwriting isn't very impressive to begin with, so as I'm sure you can imagine, my signature was quite the sight to see. Yes, it's still in the book. No, please don't look at it. Thankfully, despite all our society's prestige and dignity, we're still allowed to have ugly signatures. What I'm trying to get at is, don't be nervous. The hard part's over. None of you made it here tonight by accident. When I look at you, I see accomplished students, passionate leaders, and model citizens. Induction into the National Honor Society is our way of thanking you for your contributions to our school and community and recognizing you as one of the finest groups of students at Oxford Area High School. You're all used to putting each other's needs above your own, but tonight is about you. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance, and I look forward to seeing the incredible things you will accomplish in the future. I would now like to introduce our principal, Mr. Christopher Dormer. Thank you, Tom. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our ceremony this evening. Uh, the National Honor Society induction ceremony is one of my favorite ceremonies uh, that we have during our school year for two very uh, important but different reasons. Number one is the dignity and sanctity of the ceremony that you're going to see tonight, and the second is due to its brevity. So as much as I was teasing the students earlier that I was going to do a 35-minute uh, lecture on uh, international politics, my comments will be brief tonight. Back in May, we honored three Oxford Area High School alumni as our 2014 class of distinguished alumni here at the high school. David White, class of 1960, dedicated 44 years of his life to serve the Baltimore City School District as a teacher, coach, and athletic director, earning Coach of the Year honors and starting the first inner city boys tennis and lacrosse programs. Jim McLeod, class of 1969, used his business degree to operate his own car dealership right here in Oxford. He was one of the founders of the Oxford Education Foundation and has served as a borough commissioner, member of the Chamber of Commerce, member of the Rotary Club, founding board member of the Southern Chester County YMCA in Jennersville, and was president of the Oxford Athletic Association. Martin Sumner, class of 1992, graduated magnum cum laude from the University of Pennsylvania, attended Stanford University's Graduate School of Business, and now oversees over $5 billion of financial assets in his role with the Carlisle Group in Washington, D.C. So why do I mention these three individuals, and the students over there going, you're warming up towards a 35-minute speech, which I'm really not. I mention these three individuals because they have embodied, embraced, and exemplified the four pillars of the National Honor Society that you will hear tonight. Scholarship, service, character, and most importantly, leadership. Tonight, we celebrate the induction of outstanding junior and senior students from the classes of 2015 and 2016. 
All the students on stage have demonstrated excellence in the classroom, service to the community, and exceptional preparation for the world, your futures, and beyond. With your induction into the National Honor Society this evening, I hope that the accomplishments of David, Jim, and Martin will inspire you to seize the opportunities before you, as they did, so that you will add to the legacy of excellence of Oxford Area High School as they have. I'm confident that in 10, 15, or 20 years, some of you on stage I'll be inviting back, well, first of all, since I'll be here, and we'll be celebrating inducting you as distinguished alumni for your outstanding accomplishments after your graduation. On that day, I'll remind you that it started here, right here at Oxford Area High School, and here as a proud member of our National Honor Society. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Mr. Dormer. Good evening. My name is Josh Stillman, and I am Vice President of the National Honor Society. We will now begin the candlelight presentation. The lit maroon candle serves as a representation of the Old Oak Chapter. Each white candle symbolizes one of the four tenets of the National Honor Society, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Membership of the Old Oak Chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by the effective demonstration of these four qualities held in a high esteem by the society. The four officers will review these qualities for the new inductees. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn, even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. The next tenet we'd like to talk about is service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of a day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. The next tenet of the National Honor Society is leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward where others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. Our fourth tenet is character. Character is the force within each individual which distinguishes that person from others. It gives each of us our individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life 
and when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, striving daily to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. We will now announce our 2014 NHS inductees. The first inductee we would like to welcome is Ms. Rachel Andrews. Morgan Buhar. Kerrigan Butt. Joshua Campbell. Olivia Cannon. Zachary Deasy. Sarah DeHaven. Danielle Dietz. Chandler Drennan. Krista Futrakis. Mark Friesleben. Ariosto Gomez Franco Daniel Green Kristen Henry. Mm -hmm. 
Amanda Hicks. Connor Heileman. Brooke Hostetter. Julie Hubley. Jessica Huff. Kathleen Camp. Medina Kita. Julia Kohler. Julia Cowick. Caitlin Little. Michaela Manko. Kayla McKee. Robert Miller. Samantha Masella. Samantha Najeko.
Aaron Oshel. Paloma Perez. Darius Perroki. Molly Parang. Shane Quigley. Annabella Reka. Cassidy Rasick. Shondell Riesler. Caitlin Ruff. Christina Rogers. Rachel Rojevich. Abigail Roper. Mary Thomas. Sarah Thomasula.
Alexandra Sinakis. Katie Walton. Emma Wilkinson. Michael Williams. And last, Shane Wilson. New inductees, please rise and repeat after me as we recite our National Honor Society Pledge. <clears throat> I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands I will, be loyal to my school, I will be loyal to my school and maintain and encourage, and maintain and encourage high, standards of high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Sir Winston Churchill once said, every day you make progress, every step may be fruitful, yet there will stretch out before you an ever lengthening, ever ascending, ever improving path. You know you will never get to the end of the journey, but this, so far from discouraging, only adds to the joy and glory of the climb. Of course, this never ending journey that we call life is filled with many obstacles along the way. However, it is the journey worth taking because it leads to the person who you can become who you are destined to become and who society greatly needs you to be. It leads to an incredible future of so much promise and hope, not only for yourself, but also for the world that eagerly awaits your coming. I congratulate you all on your induction into the National Honor Society and your acceptance of the responsibilities it, it entails and hope you will find joy in this journey set before you. This concludes the National Honor Society Old Oak Chapter Induction Ceremony. At this time, I would like to thank you all for attending this commemorative event and invite everybody into the rotunda for refreshments.